Hitler's dog was a gift from his sinister party secretary, Martin Bormann, who also gifted Hitler the eagle's nest and his favourite tea house near his private home, the Berghof. Bormann was the master of ingratiation and keeping his boss happy. Blondie was chosen because she resembled a wolf, a symbolic animal for Hitler. Adolf is an old German derivation of wolf, and Hitler used the name for several of his headquarters, including the Wolf's Lair, Wolf's Gorge, and Werwolf. Hitler received Blondie as a puppy in 1941. Eva Braun was apparently jealous of the time Hitler would spend with Blondie, and on occasion would kick the German shepherd when Hitler wasn't around. Eva Braun had her own dogs, two Scottish terriers that Hitler derisively described as floor mops. All these animals were cared for by Hitler's personal dog handler, Sergeant Fritz Tornoff. Around the 4th of April 1945, Blondie gave birth to a litter of five puppies. Hitler kept one of the puppies, which he named Wolf, and began to train her. Blondie followed her master into the Berlin bunker. On the 29th of April 1945, in order to test the potency of cyanide supplied by Himmler, Hitler ordered a vial tested on his dog, which killed Blondie instantly. Albert Speer said that he did this to spare the dog from being captured by the Red Army. Blondie's corpse was discovered by the Soviets in a shell crater in the Reich Chancellery Garden, close to where Hitler and Eva Braun were burned. The remaining dogs were all shot by Sergeant Tornov hours after Hitler's suicide. It can be argued that Hitler's significant other during the war years was probably not Eva Braun, but rather his ever-loyal dog, Blondie. This animal, like the millions of humans during the war, was in the end just another victim of her master, Adolf Hitler. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share and help support my channel via PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.